as Russia increases military strikes in Ukraine's Donbass region in the east. Ukrainian forces say they've retaken some areas. Ukraine says that Russian forces have blown up bridges on a river near the key eastern city of Severodonetsk to stop reinforcements from coming in. The city is the main focus of Russia's current offensive in the Donbass region. Kiev says it's recaptured part of the territory that was lost to Russian forces. But as our Ukraine correspondent Joe Inwood reports, both sides are presenting very different pictures of how the conflict is unfolding. Russian armor still rolling forward, moving to encircle Ukraine's forces in the Donbass. An advancing army liberating the people of this region, providing them with humanitarian aid. That is the picture the Russians want to present of the invasion they still refuse to call a war. They say they are destroying Western weapons and killing foreign mercenaries. But from the Ukrainians, you get quite the opposite impression. This is a coalition of soldiers defending their homeland or joining from around the world to face down a global threat. We are on the right side of the history, so we're going to make sure all of us are going to get back home with their families and make sure that occupants are not going to do the same. Now, the truth of what's really going on is shrouded in the fog of war. Both sides put out the messages they want the world to hear. As soon as we have enough Western long-range weapons, we will push their artillery away from our positions. And then, believe me, the Russian infantry, they'll just run. What we do know for certain is that it is the people of this region who are paying the price. This is the town of Lysyshansk, just across the river from Severodonetsk. Tens of thousands remain here. There is no electricity, no water. Our grandchildren have left. We don't know how they are. As the battle for Severodonetsk continues, on the streets Ukrainian police evacuate stranded residents. If Russia can take this city, it will have a path into the Donbass. If the Ukrainians can stop them, they will win a battle that could determine the outcome of this war. Joe Inwood, BBC News, Kyiv.